your hands together for your first act, Xavier Michelini! Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm, um, I'm bald. <laughs> you haven't noticed? Yeah, I'm very bald, all right? I'm bald, but I've also got a thick neck as well, okay? Which is not a good combo. All right, that's why I've got this beard. Because without this beard, my head looks like a paddle pop <laughs> with a face drawn on it, all right? <laughs> That's my fucking head. Just a smiley face on a panel pop. Look, it's, this, it's perfectly the same the whole way around. There's no definition at all. If you saw a silhouette of my head, you wouldn't know which direction I was facing, all right? It's always the same. No matter which angle you come from, it's the same head the whole way around. I went bald quite early. I went bald in my early 20s. Now I'm in my early 30s. I'm getting some hair in some new places. Got some... Yeah, got some hair on my shoulders, on my ears, right? Which just feels personal, you know? Like, my body really fucking hates me, you know? <laughs> Get an extra hair, has a little conversation with itself, it's like, we got some extra hair, should we put it back on his head? You know, make him not bald anymore? My body's like, nah, fuck him. <laughs> nah, just put on his ears. <laughs> Join his eyebrows together. Do one long one, it's easy that way, you know? <laughs> Do one long hair coming out of his bum <laughs> that he can find when he's in the shower one day cleaning his bum. Make it so long he gets his whole hand around and he goes, ah, like that. <laughs> when he pulls on it, it's like a party trick. It's the worst party trick ever, all right? <laughs> you see me at a party going, hey, hey, hey. get the fuck out, all right? But I am getting old, I am older now, I'm early 30s, it's not that old, but I have some signs of getting old, like I can't drink more than two cups of coffee a day. Can't do it. Can't have more than two cups. I get like heart palpitations, start freaking out. Tea though, tea can drink all day. I can drink like 10 cups of tea, all right? And sure, I can't sleep at night and I lie in bed looking at the ceiling, thinking about The Simpsons <laughs> and death, but I'm fine, all right? Because coffee and tea, they enter your body in different ways, they give you caffeine in different ways. Like cups of tea, 10 cups of tea in your body, and they're like, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Are you good? I'm very good, very good. <laughs> there's lots of us in here today. I know, there's loads of us. There's way too many, here's that way too many cups of tea. I know, it's weird. Mm -hmm. I suppose there's no point pushing, we'll just wait in line patiently. When it's time to give caffeine, I'll give caffeine. Yeah, that's something as well, it's a good idea, yeah. If I had to do it like 10 o'clock at night, that's when I'll do it, yeah. All right, that's tea, okay. Well, coffee, coffee goes your way like two cups of coffee and they just go into your body and one's like, woo! <laughs> Heard the cup of coffee, yeah! Hey, buddy, we've already got a cup of coffee here, okay? We don't need you. Oh, really? Well, maybe you were doing your job properly. That's why we need a second cup. Hey, fuck you, man! <laughs> I not do my job. You stay on your side of the body, I'll stay on mine, okay? Just gonna go over here, I'm gonna give him a little caffeine. Cause you know what the fuck you're doing. Hey, fuck you, man. I know I'm doing it, give him a cause you know what you're doing, you piece of shit. Motherfucker, cocksucker, asshole. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! I shouldn't have that second cup. Um, so I'll tell you, tell you more. I came from a family. I was the youngest. Any, any, any other youngesters in tonight? Yeah. yeah. We were spoiled. And um, I had an older brother, older sister. They used to fight heaps, like, all the time. I remember this one time they were fighting. It was, um, it was Tuesday. It was Taco Tuesday. And they were arguing because my brother wanted hard tacos and my sister wanted soft tacos. Right, so they're like going back and forth, going hard, soft, hard, like that, right? And I'm just a little Mexican girl at the time. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, why not have both? <laughs> Por que no los dos, you know what I mean? That's what I said. I didn't realize I solved a problem which has been plaguing my village for generations. 
everyone comes out of their house, they're carrying with their shoulder going, woohoo, like that. Some guy had a trumpet, and he's like, bah, 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 bah. it was amazing. <laughs> and a little bit racist. Um, <laughs> felt like we were a parody of ourselves. Um, but it was an amazing childhood. I grew up on a farm. We lived in this two-story house at the farm. And I remember this one time, me and my sister were on the second level of the house and we were eating some corn, right? <laughs> and the corn was super juicy, like crazy juicy. Corn juice is flying out the window. Hits my dad who's outside. He thinks it's raining. Shouts out to my Marge. He's like, Marge, the rains are here, All right? but they weren't. <laughs> Drought lasted for another six weeks. Um, we lost 10 heads of cattle that year. It was brutal, brutal. It really got to my dad. My dad was a wonderful man, he really was. My dad was amazing. We had, we had cows, we had fruit. My dad, you know, he, he picked the fruit <laughs> that made the cordial and, that I like best, I don't know. Um, um, thanks guys, we know awesome. Have a wonderful night. Don't make any mistakes.